So good morning. Today I'm going to walk you through Ajax Explorer, which is a wonderful uh, file manager for the web application. Um, also open source, um, just has to be customized to work with your particular project or application. Um, as you can see, this is the main window you see. Um, wonderful thing about Ajax Explorer is it has a pre-built user management system as well. So if I go under settings, I can add a new user. So under users, I have quite a few people. I could add a new user, test, 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 uh, you know, very simple. User created successfully. I can go back to my um, to my parent folder, which are default files. It's got different repositories, so you could you could literally um, have multiple repositories where you could um, store different types of files and folders. It has a recycle bin, so I could literally create like a new file in my in my root. Let's call this um, testing dot uh, a text file. That's a text file right there. I can also edit a text file within this application. This is a test. Do nothing about this. Blah blah blah. I can save this and I can close that. So that file has been created within my repository. Um, I can upload files. I can download files within this. I can hit upload. And this has got a really, um, this has got a really really good. Uh, let's let's see if I can find a file here real quick. Um, uh, let's see. Can't seem, can't seem to find a file. Uh, let's see. Test chat. Uh, let's try it here. So as you can see, I'm uploading a file, uh, which is already done. Um, I can close that. Close, and you have multiple files within your repository already. I can drag and drop a file within my recycle bin, just like that, and it's gone. I can click on recycle bin, view my files. I can for the delete my files. It uses beautiful Ajax. I mean, this is a really solid software that um, you know anyone could see a lot of value in. Um, you know, Ajax as a file manager for the web is just amazing. Um, so many, so many things you could do with this. I mean, you could create a new directory, so you have subdirectories. You know, that's one. I could create another one. It has the right click function, so I can just right click within the application. I can refresh, you know, I can bookmark this window. You know, so many things you could do. Uh, you could view in thumb size, which is rather large, or you can view in list size, which is, you know, quite small, uses less resources. Uh, you could download, and it automatically zips. It automatically zips um, downloads for you, so which is a really awesome um, way to suck down. Say you had um, a bunch of data in this folder, you could literally um, head back to you know the master root or the root folder and download everything in a zip format, just like that. Uh, you could delete. You could. I mean, so so many so many things you could do with this app. Um, it's it's wonderful. Ajax Explorer. Uh, once again, that's the name of the app, and uh, it's a great web-based um, web-based file manager using Ajax uh, flat file. You don't need a database for this; um, it's all done on the fly. Um, once again, Ajax Explorer, um, check it out, download it, customize it, use it. It's a wonderful, wonderful app. Um, and to delete um, users, the test user I just added. Um, I could hit that guy, configure him just like that. You know, I could do so many things: change his password, give him admin rights, which he doesn't have, give him, you know, read and write permissions. Uh, just so many things you could do 
with this app um, so that's it um, it was a really short tutorial I just wanted to show you how to um, use this really awesome um, web-based uh, file manager called Ajax Explorer thank you for watching and uh, have a good day